I'll tell y'all right now, Lissa, Lissa has been on my butt about getting this fence done. She's like, I have officially almost knocked myself right out. Hey everybody, Shirtless Jake here. Today I have done a lot of work. A whole, 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 whole lot of work. Uh, Bree helped me this morning. So I'm going to start over here at the beginning and show y'all what all we've done so far today. I haven't been able to really video because I am time crunching, okay? I'm ready to get these cows over here into this nice tall grass. And I'm also ready to get Moses out of my pond. Also, let me flip this around. Let me show you the pond real quick. Because this is how it's supposed to look all the time. You can see the pond is finally full. It's all the way full as much as it can. So I'm going to walk over to that side and you can see where the problem is. That's, that's where the water is just spilling out of the pond. And then it goes back there and it floods all that stuff. So I want to try to find out what kind of material I would need to put there to try to build this pond up and make it retain water a little bit better. Hey Moses, I guess you can use this pond for a little bit longer. We're not quite ready yet. You having a good day? You look pretty cool standing up there. You want me to get it like a cool, you want to be the thumbnail? Here, you can be the thumbnail. All right, that should be good. That's a good angle for you, Moses. Have a great day. I got more work to do. Feel free to help if you like. He's not gonna help. It's a very windy day, so I'm trying my best to stand in front of the camera and block it, but so far today, Bree and I got this crossbar for the H brace put up, and we also put up the crossbar that's down there in the water. And all that's in Bree's video, us working out there, splashing around in the water, falling down. It was, it was awful, it was awful, but uh, then we come along and we got the tractor, got it all set up, got the wire on it, and then we ran our first stretch of wire that goes all the way down to that H brace down there in the, in the little slough area. Again, I'm sorry for the wind. Uh, let me walk back up to the corner over here and I'll show y'all the rest of the progress that we've made so far. And again, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't control this wind out here. I wish I could. I don't know, maybe this one will be a much better thumbnail for Moses. Let me get him over here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Moses, look over here. Look over here for the thumbnail. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for all your help. Why do you look so angry? Would you calm down a little? Would you calm down a little? You're not even having to do any work. You're not, stop, Moses, Moses, quit, Moses. What? You trying to fight me? Why are you trying to fight me? Huh? I didn't do nothing to you. Be sweet. There. Pushed you back. That was rude. Why did he just now try to attack me for? Dang it. Alright, so I have to dig out these holes to make sure that the post is going to sit exactly where it has to. They're six inch posts. Most hole diggers don't dig a, I mean the auger doesn't dig a six inch hole. So you gotta come back and clean them all out all the way around. You also wanna be careful not to chop your string in half. But if you wait long enough, the cows will do that for you. I only have four more posts to set today, but boy, am I tired. I need to take a little break. I just need a little break and then I can get back to work. All right, that was a good break. Let's get back to it. All right, let's give a little progress report here. First of all, you can see how all the posts disappear whenever you get behind this one. That means they're 
in a very straight line, so that's good. These posts are already here, but then today we've been setting all these. I've gotten a lot done today because I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all right now, Lissa, Lissa has been on my butt about getting this fence done. She's like, you need to hurry up and get that fence done. We got cows to move over there. Quit lollygagging around. So I've been out here, guys, sweating, working, keeping everything level and straight, plumb. I know I'm about to get 100 comments. It's called plumb. Level is this way, plumb is this way. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, look. They're plumb. And I'm plumb tired of setting posts out here. Two more to go. I was gonna wait for Bree so I could get started with this barbed wire because whenever we try to pull it from here, it gets all tangled up on this wire that goes across here. But just now in my head, I come up with something that might prevent that from happening and I might not need any help. So let me go get some materials together and I'll show y'all what that was. All right, I'm gonna try to take this PVC and split it straight up the middle and see how that works. before my dad gets home. And now I'll show y'all what we're gonna do with these. So what I'm thinking here is that if I take, if I take these two pieces of PVC and I clamp it on each side of my barbed wire here like this, okay, it doesn't have to be tight, it doesn't have to be pretty, but as long as I can hold that there and then get all my duct tape stuck together to itself, Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna just kind of tape this on here. And what that's gonna do is hopefully whenever I pull my wire from there, it'll come and it'll sit on top of this PVC and it won't get all kinked up in the barbs and around the wire. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work. It's just what my mind come up with. And so that's what I'm gonna go with. And then of course, whenever we're done with this strand, all we're gonna do is take a box cutter cut the tape and then take this off, put it on the next strand, and then we can just keep on going. We shouldn't get tangled up anymore. Moment of truth. <laughs> rubber boots at home. Now I gotta take off my shoes. Alright, there goes the shoe. Alright, there goes the shoe. Okay. Alright, we should be good now. No shoes. No problem. All right, so check this out. This wire is gonna come up and it's gonna be at the middle of my thigh. So it's gonna go right here, right about where that knot is. Let me flip this camera around. I wanna show y'all something real quick that I'm really excited to use. So check this out. This is mom and dad for Christmas. Got me this DeWalt drill. So this is the first time that I get to use it where you test it out. 
I'm excited because, you know, usually I just go steal my dad and Lester's drill and their saws and all that stuff. So now I got my own drill. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, yeah, this bad boy works like a charm. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. It'll, it'll come in handy. All right, we got all our screws in. So now we're just gonna walk along and rest that wire on top of this screw. This will help keep it level and you can honestly pull it pretty tight just as you're walking down and it'll help keep it up off the ground and help you pull it whenever you're ready to winch on it over here. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. It's my bad hand too. That could have been bad. I'm gonna find my gloves. I threw them down somewhere, and of course, I don't know where anything is. Where's Brienne when you need her? She's supposed to like semi keep my life together. I have officially almost knocked myself right out. And now I almost speared the back of my neck. I need assistance out here. This thing, look at this. I was trying to pull this thing apart. Whenever I pulled it, this flew up, and it hit me right here. Oh, yeah. That's where it got me, right there in the cheek. I got dizzy for a moment because, you know I me, mean? I pack a punch. I pack a punch. I almost went right out, right out here, like a sack of potatoes out here in the field. Could y'all imagine? Could y'all imagine I knocked myself out right out here in the middle of the field and Bree has to come out here and find me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be awful. I'm going to I'm going to get assistance. I'm over it. I need assistance. I'm I'm done. Game over. To make matters worse, I'm trying to get my shoes and put them on and then look. Look where I parked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? Why does stuff like this happen up? me oh oh my gosh i do need assistance what else could go wrong just on the way home i just want to go home i just need some help okay well i made it up to the house um only to turn around and see that i left the light on on my machine so that means my battery will probably be dead by the time i get back so that's cool I guess there was one more thing that could go wrong on the way back up to the house. Now what? You you gonna attack me too? Yep, here we go. Doggone it! Could, could y'all just leave me alone? Could you just leave me alone? I'm having a rough time. I'm having a rough time. Oh no. No, no! Punk, punk, get away from me. I'm having a rough punk. Get off of me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, punk. Oh my gosh, why can't stop? Leave me alone.